lightweight showdown between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Charles Oliveira. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents, always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles de Brux Oliveira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? You ready? You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top, he's got the strong base and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there. Wasting time. Got to start to advance position and get grounded on off. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It's the elbow there. Marco Medoff's and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options.
Alex. Medov's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Oliveira. Nurmagomedov's pass attempt denied. Oh, damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmagomedov. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big punch man over the top. How is he going to follow this one? So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, a little single collar tie there. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oliveira's got the full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Round two next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round two. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Charles Oliver. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Blocks the shot. 
Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Thought he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Oh, nice. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Nurmagomedov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Sound strike on the ground. Oliveira's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many Going for the arm here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Khabib well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.